How's it? Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com. Catch you on Wednesday, August the 28th as we get this video to you around this time. Have your free pick winner in just a second here between the Atlanta Dream and the Seattle Storm. Hello, I am Indian Cowboy and this is Doc Sports. The algorithms of Indian Cowboy have been around for 19 years and Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. I have a doctor and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my free daily podcast. Our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Arun Shiva. Welcome to, um, yeah, or Indian Cowboy. Our next best selections are free picks and leans, which is what you're watching right now. We, of course, have a very popular YouTube premium teaching channel, which is the show that I just finished. Um, hold on one second. Yeah, which is uh, yeah, which is the show that I just finished. Uh, for twenty dollars a month, you get uh, uh, a live show every day, um, a live show every day from Monday through Sunday, and uh, right before we do our daily video, um, right before we do our daily video, which of course is a massive advantage, right? You get the best lines, you get about thirty live shows and two hundred and forty games, all for just twenty dollars a month. Pretty incredible deal. Uh, recorded podcast you can re-listen to it anytime and you get a written summary at the end the link to youtube premium is in the comments section as well as a link to how to get your free 60 dollars with the premium selections if you want even more content hop onto my twitter it has our latest updates our hot takes on sports popular consensus reports and our latest videos are posted there all right so let's get to your uh, seven one two three your six free selections as usual six free selections uh, I like the Seattle story. I, what do I need to tell you here? <laughs> um, I want to tell you that uh, we have uh, we had a great WNBA winner yesterday uh, on the over in the Dallas game. We've won five in a row in the WNBA now. We try to make it six in a row today. Baseball, we fell short, but we'll bounce back today. We're basically on a plus 5,000 run in baseball, about a plus 5,000 run in the WNBA. We're plus 7,000 in the uh, in the MMA season so far. We'll have five great college football selections this week. I'm excited about it. I think we'll do quite well. And I can't wait for you to join us for everything, okay? As it relates to Atlanta and Seattle, I like to see the um, yeah, join us for baseball, WNBA, football, MMA, and uh, soccer, which is on an incredible run as well. So all of that, be sure to join all those packages. I like the Seattle Storm minus the points today. I think I saw minus eight. Um, so that's what we're going to go with. Uh, Atlanta, Seattle. Yeah, I like Seattle for minus the eight here. Atlanta's played, you know, somewhat well against Indiana. They lost by five points, lost back-to-back -back games coming in. Atlanta shockingly beat Seattle, if you remember, by two points last game. They were seven-point home dogs in that game. Seattle lost to Washington last game as well. They had just beaten Washington prior to that, so don't hold that loss too much against them. And this is the same Seattle team that blew out Minnesota 91-63, and which very few teams can do. Uh, but a home loss to Washington is not going to sit well with Seattle, and I think they're going to bounce back that way. And I like Seattle minus the eight. Connecticut and Indiana. I like Indiana here. Connecticut's off course, twenty-two and seven coming in. Indiana's thirteen and fifteen. Connecticut has beaten this team the last ten straight times, including eighty-nine seventy-two, eighty-eight eighty-four, ninety-two seventy-one. Just this season alone, Connecticut beat New York seventy-two sixty-four. Uh, despite shooting two for 13 from three-point land, but they wanted seven and a half point dogs. I think they got lucky. Indiana has massive revenge from three straight losses this year. I'm back in Indiana, even though the public is backing a home dog, which is scary. Minnesota and Phoenix, I'm calling the upset today. I'll take Phoenix plus the four here. This is the WNBA. Minnesota beat this team by 13 last time. Phoenix knows how good Minnesota is. Minnesota's off of a big win against Indiana. Has won six in a row. Shot over 50% last game. Phoenix, nine points in the first quarter last game. 20 turnovers. It does make a lot of sense here to back Phoenix, even though it seems a bit scary. And that's why you see Phoenix as only a four-point dog. Angels in Detroit, I like the over there. Angels have lost six in a row coming in, including two to six last game to Detroit. Detroit's won five in a row coming in. They are one game above 500. They've won 6-2 to two last game. Canning beat Detroit last time, 6 innings, 5 hits, 4 runs. He went 6 innings, 2 hits, no runs against Toronto. Unlikely he puts together such an amazing back-to-back -back start. Engel Hurt is a, is a relief pitcher at the end of the day, and it's hard to trust him, but it does make sense to maybe take the over here. I think both teams have success here. I like the over between the Angels and Detroit. Yankees and Washington. I like the over there. You know, the Yankees lost 2-4 to four yesterday. They've won 5 of 7 games coming in. Washington won 4-2 to two last game, so the Yankees are on a bounce back. Rodon and Gore here. Rodon, 4.16 ERA. Six innings, four hits, no run against, against Colorado. Gore, 5.41 ERA. Gore, six innings, seven hits, one run against Atlanta. He comes off one of the best starts, too, as well. Sure, Rodon can bounce back. Or Washington is feisty. I can definitely see an over here. Toronto and Boston. I like the under there. Toronto has won five in a row and lost 3-6 yesterday. Boston finally won after a couple of losses, winning 6-3. They beat Toronto 6-3 last game. Bassett and Bayo here. Bassett, 4.41 ERA. Bassett lost to Boston last time, going seven innings, five hits, and two runs. So he has that revenge. His team is on a bounce back, too. He went seven innings, three hits, two runs against Baltimore not too long ago, mind you. 
Bayo in his third year, 4.95 ERA. He went two innings, five at seven run, and got rocked by Toronto last time and lost to Arizona, going five innings, seven at five runs. I think both pitchers bounce back big, and I like the under. That's what I have for you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Uh, Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. And, of course, the football card comes out for you tomorrow, and I will have lots of free football leans for you tomorrow and free plays for you tomorrow. Take care.